Good morning, friends. It's Thursday, and I just wanted to share an idea with you from the gospel reading from last week. About Jesus walking through Samaria, sitting on a what maybe he thought was an abandoned well, which turned out to be a great encounter for a very special lady. There's a painting in the uh, Metropolitan Museum of Arts in New York. It's called Catterskill Falls, and uh, it's probably the largest falls, the highest waterfall in New York, um, and it affected a whole generation of landscape painters. They're called the Hudson School Painters. The Gospel of this morning is kind of like that painting. It points to the central role that water plays in our lives. We've been talking this year about remembering our baptism something that we do each and every day. Remember our baptism. Remember to put on our baptismal clothes. Remember the, the benefits, the beauty, the, the calling in our baptism to walk with God. It talks about how our sins have been forgiven and washed away, and we have this newness of life now that God calls us to walk with him. And we're in a better situation even than Adam and Eve were because We've been made new, never to die. So Jesus encounters this woman at the well. It's not a social gathering place. It's just a place to get water. But Jesus turns it into a profound experience for this woman, for he tells her that he knows everything about her, everything she's ever done, every person she's ever married, all she's been with. And it amazes her. And not only amazes her, but it amazes all the townspeople. And they come to see this person who knows this information about this woman. And he shares with her. So as Christian people, we are called to be people of water. Water people. And it's great for us because we're so close to the ocean. So we can identify with being people of the water. The treasure of that painting that hangs in a museum of art is kind of a hidden one because it shows the, the power and the beauty of water. And that's the power and beauty of water in our lives each and every day of this baptismal water. It's this torrent of water flowing from high place to the bottom and crashing and noisy. When we think of our baptism, maybe we think of it as just kind of a little baptismal font. But sometimes we miss the amazing power that's in the water of our baptism. It's like, more like a waterfall than just a quiet little pool. It's an amazing power that raises us literally from the dead in our baptism. Baptism is the cascade we live in, but it flows within us. As Jesus was saying, he has this living water that he wants to give us. Sometimes it's quiet water when we need to be quiet, and sometimes it's a waterfall when we need that type of energy as well. So it's the water which cleanses all of us. It's our hope. It's our future. It's our many joys. And so let's freely come when we are thirsty for God, to the water that Jesus has for us. Let us pray. Gracious God, amid the cascade of turmoil in the world today, be the quiet water for us when we need the quiet water and stir us up when we need to be stirred up and reminded of your presence in our lives. We pray for those who are struggling in all different ways. We pray for our leaders. We pray for our church, our community, our loved ones, family members, maybe distant from us who are struggling. Call us back to our baptismal waters, the quiet place where we are reunited and born again with you. I invite you to join me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Have a blessed day, brothers and sisters. Amen.